Welcome everyone. Buenas tardes. How are you? My name is Luigi Pisani. I got Luna behind me. This is, uh, this is feel. This is for you. This is for me. This is, uh, for people that can identify with issues of pain, issues of a discomfort. Um, if you think about the last time that you had a moment where you had to just take a second and essentially kind of catch yourself, give yourself that, uh, that opportunity to just check in with what just happened. Uh, and the closest instance, the, the closest thing that I can come to to mind right now is like, uh, say a very, very quick and unexpected injury. Um, a, a moment where the body was sort of in one direction and then just hold on, stop. That could be very surreal. And that could be the kind of thing where makes you question naturally. And of course, it, it has its story. It has its experience. It has what you defined it as. And then it just kind of gets to a moment where you're supposed to make a decision right at that moment. You're supposed to, you know, react equally as grave or as serious as what that was for you, that injury, that situation. So what I mean to tie together through feel, thanks to Stimulus TV and to the Twitch universe, now that all this is being laid out is what can we do individually? You, myself, even with her, Luna Mametas, what can we do to maintain the body, maintain a state, maintain just a way of life. With a complete opposite reaction sensation. But one that's very like tranquil, graceful, peaceful. You're expecting movement. <clears throat> movement never stops. That is a universal law. And so while you are wherever you are in this moment, just like you see the pups, they're always constantly doing their thing. Let me switch you up. There. Sometimes pups need movements like going out there and running with other pups, and sometimes they just need you. So if you have your pup with you right now, if you are able to just like put your hand on them, start with that, take your neck, and let it go. There's still motion here. But what is there more of? A sensation? What does this... Take a pillow if you don't have a puppy. That's okay, too. <laughs> Pillows are still soft. Hold. Open up your fingers. Open up your hands. Take a breath. That's how I want us to start.
No, I never met Isaac Newton. But um, I do believe that there are some natural laws. Forget about how I'm actually seated. Let's say you had your couch. What if you opened up both arms? What if you let go of your neck in either direction? What if you let it rest on your knee? At this point now, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I want you to use what is around you. And I want you to feel into it. This communication that naturally can occur. That's a language. That is the way in which our bodies communicate. That is the way in which a lot of us can show up. I'd like to tie something in together. And if you can now at this moment, take one hand, place it on your neck or with the thumb down. And you feel your pulse. Notice what one position, one way for you to hold yourself. And then adding something else. Notice what that may do to you. Not in the most exaggerated form, not in the form that's what that injury could have been like. But in the form where it was just so subtle. Take my hand. Let's play a game. Can all five fingers move? Pretend as if we were actually memory. Some of you know this game. Have you noticed the last time that you realized that your wrist, your elbow, and your shoulder were no different? There is a clear message of connection that a lot of practices a lot of modalities, traditions, whatever you want to call them, with respect, have provided towards connection. And if you are right now and you could find yourself just still seated, but still very much shifting and looking to what's around you, opening up your arm a certain way, your neck, continue. When it comes to this connection, for many it takes such a discipline 
to really <laughs> connect. <laughs> There's the breathing, there's the lack of the visual, there's, you know, that really active meditation. There's the, the part that's so, the so physical, the Kung Fu artist to, you know, legit yodic uh, uh, practitioners. I mean, some like crazy, you know, like, ah, like ah. I mean, I don't, I can't do that whole, you know, like behind the head, but, but you get it. Um, such a connection in that sense. And so if you're looking at um, the amount of dedication, attention, and everything that you're doing to get to that point, I mean, now would probably be a good a time as any <laughs> to try to try that. You know, to some respect, even if it was, again, us doing something simple with just the fingers or just you using uh, uh, your least dominant hand at whatever moment that you may find, rolling out of bed in a different direction, you know, entering your shower with the uh, different, like an opposing leg that you usually would, you know, or maybe just, again, these are small actions. I'm introducing a concept now to you by the way, uh, which is what feel is. You're feeling everything, everything all around you and living actively or actively living really if it follows. But again, in all of these actions, because of the, the requirement of the body, of the mind, of everything to align itself in that way, now, Perhaps it just can be something that you are living or taking place in at any moment. That you're conversing with. Because this is a conversation. Sensation to the body is conversation. And so in this day, with everything that we have already noticed, that we've ignored, from the way we ignored taking care of our certain environment, the way we um, ignored with food labels, with ingredients, you can continue down that rabbit hole. This is now an introduction into pain from a different level. Pain that occurs when we're not properly educated on a certain thing, and then we meet ourselves into a certain destination. That of, well, I didn't know there was a hole in the road like that. If you're by your couch now, Let's um, let's open up one leg. Some people say this is like a thinking man's pose. From just opening up one leg. from the ankle, to the knee, to the hip. Did it take you into that space of, again, too much? Or did you find yourself at this point now interpreting it to a different degree? Did you maybe surprise yourself by realizing that once you've been once you've been um, more alert, more activated, and real quick, so as far as the thinking man's pose, uh, literally just you know 
hands on the knees and, and head down. It's like you're actually considering something. <laughs> um, but in this case, this man that is thinking is thinking with the body, not just allowing the mind to go wherever. So if this is a concept that can be introduced. Essentially, the concept is you can have both conversation within body and with what's going on in mind. So as to not allow mind to go too, too, too far into the unnoticed. Old English. Let's get back into the pain aspect. When we're missing an understanding and awareness of a thing, when we are not paying attention, perhaps ignoring, could be another way to consider that. When all of these things are happening, and they're also happening in body, what kind of outcome can you expect? What do you see to be the ability, the opportunity, when both of those spaces are just being ignored? By understanding that there is a way for you to interpret sensation, not get it too far into pain, into the intolerable. <sighs> by understanding breath, by practicing this, by doing this, wherever and in every space that you are, Try to just hold on to your opposite knee, by the way, if you're here, if you're seated. Just take one arm, hold on to the opposite knee. The thumb is pointing down. The fingers are open as much as they can be. The neck is released. Obviously, both sides, because you don't want to just ignore one side. Hope we're getting into a theme at this point. It is in my interpretation of body that I can understand that pain occurs when there is no communication. And that's why today's uh, segment, though there was never not movement, the movement that was occurring was also here as well as everything in here. But now we got to take it a step further. So um, let's prepare ourselves because I'm going to need you to Find yourself uh, closer to the ground. We are going to um, maybe need uh, a pillow or two if you want it. Primarily lay down and on a softer surface if you can, um, just to lay out the groundwork. And um, yeah, and then as far as like, you know, your, your, your clothing goes right now, I mean, probably whatever you're wearing if you're working from home, you know? Um, how are you, Nasty Nick? These are all very, very cool names. So let's set that up. All right, so 
You guys on the ground yet? We're all set up. Okay. For the record, there is, um, everyone has a very uh, comfortable position that they initially like to get in. Naturally, when they sit. So for me, this would be, it would look like this. For you, it may very well look like this. It might look like this. I mean, shoot, some of you might even go into just this. Okay? So what I want to do is whichever one you figure out, you're going to look for your knee, your ankle, your toes. You're going to look for something. Okay? So I'll go back to my original one. And I will walk through each one, just in case you don't have any ideas. So if I have knee and I have tibia, or just above my ankle, in the front, okay? With the arm extended, pull your neck as far to one side. And the other. Don't let go. Keep the hands on the leg. Find a different position of hands. Again, release the neck. Release your breath. One more. Continue keeping the hands on the leg. Just find something else to hold on to. By the way, at this point, how are you guys feeling? I mean, we're kind of getting into halfway right now of, uh, of our segment. So if you've done one thing or maybe three of them, how are you feeling? I'd, I'd love to know. So let's continue. So now, then I said, if um, you were in this position, same thing whether it was knees, whether it was both legs, maybe even crossing. And no point do you let go. And you release. And even if you are curled, curled up in a ball right now, which we're going to get to that one in a second, Frijolita, so please bear with me. But if you are curled up in a ball, then just let that ball move from side to side. This will be the last one. So, again, if I was holding on to leg, even if I was holding on to ground, Some of you, I wasn't kidding about curling up into the ball, uh, into a ball on the ground, by the way, so that's next. But some of you, some of us, might consider that all of these different things that the body is trying to say to us, it's reaching out. And it's, it's 
trying to put into words, but again, we know that we're the ones that have words. Body has its own language. Let's open up both arms. You can extend one leg. And the only thing I want you to do is with the opposite leg, walk it up towards you and let your body slide on the ground. Every time that I lift up the foot and I press with this leg, I am also twisting. In both directions. The difference is, I'll demonstrate it this way, the difference is that you are, again, using pressure of this foot to push you down as the body turns and opens in whatever direction. You can choose to stay in a certain place so long as it's, if you do decide to be there, you take a breath. Press down. Open. Bring both feet up. Allow the feet to walk and shift. Notice all the different things that can happen with your body by you just keeping a weight down. Whether it was from your whole foot or it was from your heel, but even if you only press your heels and then you try to walk up, part is that for at least one of those things, your body could already be responding in a certain way. And if that's happening to your rhythm, if that's happening to something that resonates with you, to something that only you can Describe, comprehend, whatever it is, then let it be. That's yours. No one takes that away. No one can. I mean, not even close. There's a saying in Spanish Lo que es para ti, nadie te lo quita. Which means, what's meant to be yours, no one can take away. I believe that. 
to be true in more ways than one. I believe each and every one of us, we have an opportunity at every moment to experience something for us that no one takes away. And I'm no different from you. I feel the pain. You feel the pain. At this point now, we know it's collective. We know that it's not just an individual experience. We know that it can be an experience very much like love. An experience that perhaps is tied together with love. Because while there are plenty of situations (laughs) while there are plenty of situations where a love is a pain, a pain is a love, you know, that whole thing, um, with everything that we did here, up until this point, there were parts in my body that in some cases at some point could have been conceived as like, oh, this is a pain. But the real pain though that exists is if I walk away from it, if I ignore it, you understand that to be true. With relationships, you understand that to be true. I'll let you fill that in. Um, So, don't walk away from it. Don't just ignore it. You can love it. You can love whatever experience, whatever sensation, whatever pain, whatever that is, you can love it. You know how they have a saying of, um, I think it was like Marilyn Monroe, if you don't love me at my worst, at my yeah, worst, you don't deserve me at my best. Something along the way, along those lines. Um, when it comes to our bodies, I, I feel the same thing to be true in a different light. If we don't love this body of ours and its experiences and everything about it at its worst, and we're not deserving of this, of all of this at its best. So, um, I'm going to take a minute now, answer any questions, and um, give you all Thank you graciously for watching. Give you all an opportunity to ask everything. I'll go from more recent ones um, to top. Jackal, uh, NYC. MS is Master's of Science uh, in Education. 
education portion is, um, I guess, just redundant at this point if we have a conversation. We're all always constantly being educated. So, um, Luna is the best pup in the world. Thank you. Um, okay. I'm going to show you guys something. It'll be something for you to attempt, should you wish to. Um, to stick with the theme, movement-based, here's how it goes. One leg. And then back up. And come down again. Still flat, as high as possible, straight as possible. Open up again. There have been a series of things that after learning, um, studying exercise physiology, and then doing a master's in strength and conditioning, certain things that you learn about how the human body can perform, if you condition it a certain way, if you take care of it a certain way, et cetera, et cetera. We, we know these things in a lot of different ways. Um, when it comes to, you know, just, um, I want to say, uh, not just recreational, but, you know, enthusiasts, people that just, they still are in love with being active. They still are in love with, you know, using their bodies. Um, and competing in certain ways, whatever it is, there's not so much attention that's given to them as far as the education, you know, behind what you can actually do with it. We just have other things that we mirror or we, we try to achieve. You have bodybuilding, you have crossfitting, and you have um, sports specific stuff, and you have a whole bunch. And so for me, there was always a moment where I wanted to tie in certain principles about the body, but bringing a completely different mindset as far as like how we relate to it, you know, how we express it, how we do everything that we can do with it. There was a point in time that I personally had gone through different accidents, injuries, whatever you want to call them, taking one hand, placing it behind my back, just this far. So not even up here type of thing, but just keeping it right here. That was a very difficult thing for me once upon a time because of using rings a certain way. It's a whole other story. Um, not too long ago, running up a, uh, uphill, a gunshot of a snap, like a, you know, you're running, you hear the steps, it happens, and then all of a sudden your calf, your Achilles, you know, that little juncture, that in-between little area, you just know that something really, really nice <laughs> in the meanest way possible it just happens. Um, and then, of course, walking all those things, you're back to square one. Uh, and then the most serious one, which allowed me to understand that I myself right now am on was called, uh, uh, bonus time. This bonus time for all of us falling on my neck this way. So on the back, on the ground with all my weight in the air. And that was while uh, practicing, um, not practicing, but at um, one of those indoor, what are they called? If you know the name, type it in. You got it. Let me know. Uh, trampolines. 
or indoor trampoline places like that. So, and in every one of those situations, a common thing with me has been, well, this is a story that I get to create, meaning this injury, which is still, you know, still a word, um, but this thing that just happened, I'm not going to give it a certain level of power because I know what my body can do, what it's capable of. And while I might not be a complete, you know, uh, division one athlete, so on and so forth, it doesn't mean that I can have a level, a level of understanding body like you can, like we all can. So while my formal education took me down a route of everything having to do with the best of the best performance related, how do we get even the LeBron James of the world to be even better, you know, um, or as they would call it, injury proof. Here's the take home message as far as the roots of our pain. There is no preventing injury. There is no preventing the uh, unknowing. The moment when some of these things happen to you, they completely take you by surprise. You weren't expecting any of that to happen to you in that way. Car accidents, breakup, skateboarding, whatever. If that's the case, then again, as we said from the beginning, you choose how you wish to react to it. If you have this conversation with body at all times and you know what you're capable of and you know that this here thing is but another piece of the entire story, then what do you have to lose? You're just here, and therefore there's nothing different. This was already expected, and therefore that's why you're still here. <laughs> so with that, I want to thank everyone at, um, at Stimulus TV, uh, Justine, Corey, Lindsay, uh, every one of the, of the speakers as well for giving up of their time and their energy, non-existent time. <laughs> um, thank you to Luna for holding down that space uh, herself. She does her own thing. She'll get involved in another way sometimes, guys, but this is all just, um, this is all just love either way. So thank you all. Um, peace to each and every one of you. Um, if you want to, um, reach me in any way the um hashtag that's there at uh field theory available at all times and uh con todo amor con todo cariño cuídense bendiciones